What's up guys, it's me, your badass host, Draven, and welcome to another episode of our Pokemon Brown walkthrough. Okay, so we we did some work. We got to this town a little too easily and beat the next gym leader and all that stuff. So now it is finally time for us to move on to the next route right here. Um, let's see. Got Thunderbolt. It could be teaching that to a Pokemon. But I think it's finally time for us to just like actually form a proper team because the team that I have is kind of like a makeshift team honestly I wanted to build something around Sunny but to me this kind of just like you know this it's just a band of misfits right here I know that I'm gonna be switching these guys off uh, sooner rather than later so what we're gonna do right now is we're gonna see if we can actually beat some of these trainers find some good Pokemon and then from there just you know you know just uh, destroy everybody and this right here, we're probably going to have to go to Castro Valley. So here, as you can see, we're taking on a Clefable. And it's at level 21. So now, the levels are going up just a little bit. The evolutions are right there. Yeah, we are really going to have to work for this whole thing right here. But luckily for us, uh, we got a traded Pokemon right here. So this, you know, the, the, the uh, what was it? The training won't be that hard against it for this guy right here. So here we go. Ice Beam Attack. And, well, yeah, it looks like we're going to have to work against this guy. Holy crud. Don't necessarily know if fairy types are in this thing right here. I know that steel types are. Dark types probably, too. And here we go. Another ice beam. Oh, yeah, we are making this up. And, well, uh-oh, here comes a metronome. And here's a steel wing attack. That is super effective. And here we go. Bubble beam. The bubble is a win. And, well, let's see. Coming out with a Flaffy. Now, this is a new one right here. Let's go straight to Sunny. Let's get it. Okay. So, when are we going to start seeing the right, like, when are we going to start seeing some uh, actual Johto Pokemon? Because this is, like, probably the second Johto Pokemon I've gone up against. And, well, there we go. Critical hit. Here comes a Thundershock. And that does not work. Let's go for a Body Slam. And there we go. We have defeated the last. Okay, and yes, we are mean. Alright, so what kind of Pokemon can we find right here? I'm not even gonna make a transition or anything. You're gonna you're gonna find your usual Spiro. Not going to battle these guys. Uh let's see. Try and find this uh, again. Seri oh wow, Spiros? The, they should just call this the Valley of Spiros. Oh Jeebus, okay, never mind. Alright, okay, so let's just uh, move on right here. Let's just move on. Let's go ahead and use a Super Potion. Give that to Kathy right here. And start battling everybody we see right here. Now, we have to go to Castro Valley. So, I'm assuming that we have to use this town map and... Huh. Okay, so let's see. Let's see. really don't like the mechanics of this... Uh, yeah, to this map. So apparently we have to go to the warehouse. Team Rocket has control of that. The next city is Botan City. And then we're going to be going through the Haunted Forest. And, well, there's a power plant between this? Oh, wow. Okay, so it's going to be a ways away before we get to Castro Valley. Let's go battle whoever we see here and then see what, what happens. Okay, so here we go. Going up against a bug catcher. And it is coming out with a Paris. Okay, so here we go. Ice Beam Attack for the win. And uh, Paris is no more. Kind of hope that there's no, like, trees out there that we have to cut and all that crud. And, well, it's trying to learn Mist. Yeah, not going to teach that right there. Now, now that we're doing this right here, guys, I kind of want just like talk about something right here uh, I'm pretty sure you guys have noticed the uh, I guess the quality in the and I guess the the voice recording didn't change anything guys I only you know I, I did a few things over the weekend uh, that you know that actually uh, helped me out just a little bit now if you guys haven't seen my uh, Facebook page my actual Facebook page um, you'll actually see that you know, I got myself another computer, another desktop right here, and this is specifically for the video editing. Now, I mentioned in uh, previous walkthroughs and everything that, you know, oh wow, yeah, in previous walkthroughs that, uh, 
What was it? What was it? I, I'm doing a little bit more editing. And it's showing right here. It's not the most perfect kind of, uh, you know, editing, but we're still getting there. Um, let's see. And because of that, you know, getting this other computer right here helps me focus on just editing the videos and putting in, like, the plugins and whatnot. Trying to make this a little bit more professional for you guys. I mean, I've been here for damn near 11 years, okay? Damn near 11 years. Been through some ins and outs and all that stuff. Some uh, harsh realities. And... You know, as, start, as soon as I started getting focused with this whole new Gym Leader Draven channel and whatnot, you know, I, right there, that's when everything started, you know, stepping up with, you know, the quality of videos, you know, the backgrounds, the amount of videos coming out. There hasn't been a lot of breaks in between. Only no, notified, like, only notified breaks. And so, very proud of that, and that is what I'm trying to do right here, guys, is just trying to give out the best quality videos possible for my channel. I mean, I didn't earn these, uh, I didn't earn the 9,000 subscribers for, in, in, like, just like that. No, that's through hard work and all that stuff. So, again, thank you guys for subscribing. And, oh, damn. We are taking on a bee drill. Okay, so here we go. Let's go straight for an ice beam. And that right there is not that strong. And... Wow, this is a... Oh, wow, it has its Twin Needle attack. So right now we are just... Uh, we are going up against some pretty good Pokemon right here. I'm actually liking the... Um, the Evolve... Like, taking on the Evolve Pokemon right now. And look at that. Kathy grows to level 21. And... Well, it's coming out with a Butterfree. So let's go ahead and give Master a little bit of a touch right here. Okay, alrighty. So let's go straight for a Flamethrower attack. And that right there takes care of, uh, well, Butterfree right here. Please tell me you're going to come out with, like, a Pinsir or a Scyther. That right there would be awesome. And here comes a Spinarak. So let's go straight to Hurricane right here. Give it a little bit of love. Now, I don't know if Hurricane's going to be our Pokemon, like, going all the way through and all that stuff. I don't know. But it is a very serviceable Pokemon right now. And right now we are, oh, no, Scary Face. So let's go straight for a Fly. And, well, here comes that fly attack. And there goes Spinarak. I am happy. Happy about that. And, well, let's see. Here comes an Ariados. So let's continue on right here with a good old a Hurricane. There we go. And the Constrict attack misses. There we go. Okay. Alrighty. Look at that. And look at that. Hurricane grows to level 24. We are... Yeah, we're kicking some butt right here. All right. So Wow, stepped into that one right there. <laughs> okay, so she's asking me why I look weird. I don't know. Normal, normal's overrated. You know, some of us ugly guys need some love too, right? And, am I right, ugly guys? Okay, so here we go, going up against a Nidoran male. And, well, let's go straight for a body slam. Look at that, okay. Now, I'm really, I'm really starting, like, I'm really enjoying this game right here, Pokemon Brown. It's not like Pokemon Liquid Crystal where I kind of know where to go. This is now the surprises, you know, kind of... Well, this, and then the, the surprises kind of don't bother me and all that stuff. This is actually very, very new, and I'm actually happy on doing this walkthrough, especially with the other hack games, so... You know... Gonna, going to continue to do my best right here for you guys. So here we go. Confusion again. Ultra Psycho taking it to him, and well... That's right, okay. And, well, there's this guy right here. What do you do? Let's see how good or how this goes. Really liking the positioning right here. So, here we go. Going up against a bug catcher. He's coming with his Butterfree. All right, Kathy. Do your thing. Ice Beam attack. And that Supersonic does not work. There we go. And Butterfree has been defeated. Again, I'm actually liking the, um, yeah, I'm actually liking the type of Pokemon, or I'm liking the fact that they're using a evolved bug type Pokemon. I really am. And here we go, Master. Master goes for the fly, a flamethrower. And well, there we go. Yanma has been defeated. What now? Alrighty, and Master goes level 25, learning Smokescreen. And, well, you know what? I'm going to keep the moves right here because it really doesn't 
Yeah, it really doesn't, uh, really, yeah, smokescreen doesn't really do nothing for me. And, well, here we are going straight into this area right here. Now, it looks like there's two, oh, wow, there's two possible areas right here. Okay, so let's go, let's check out on a Pokemon right here. Let's see what we got, and we got Pidgeys. Oh, God, okay, Pidgeys, you gotta love them. Okay, so my deal is right now, I'm not actually editing these things out because I kind of want to see what Pokemon I can find here. Now, if there's a Pokemon that I need, then yeah, I will, you know, obviously grab it from the, uh, from the PC. And, well, we got another Pidgey, so they should just call this the Valley of the Birds because that's all I've been seeing is just Pidgeys. And Spearow's, and let's see. Spearow, okay, so there really isn't anything right here that I can find. So, what I'm gonna do right now is put on a repel, and wow, this guy is fast, okay. Get a good hit on me. Let's go ahead and use a repel since we got 10 of these little bastards, and. Why did you come here? Okay, alrighty, so here we go. Going up against a youngster again, and well, he's coming out with a Fero. Wow. Okay, all right. Everybody's stepping up their game right here. And well, here we go. Ice Beam attack. And there goes Fero. Here we go. Look at that. And Kathy just grows to level 22 right here. All righty. Okay, all righty. And what does this guy have to say? I shouldn't wear shorts then. Okay. Alright, so it looks like Kathy's already done its thing. Um, let's go straight to Ultra Psycho right here. Now, there is a chance that we might run into a Pokemon right here. But, you know, it, it's worth the risk. And here we have another trainer. Watch out! Hmm, watch out. Okay, here we go. Going up against a Wigglytuff. Oh, jeez, this is going to be tough. Okay, alrighty. So let's go straight for a confusion attack right here, and wow, and just like that, oh, <laughs> okay, I thought it was going to be, well, I thought, you know, Wigglytuff was going to take away my confusion right here, so let's go again, another confusion attack, and there's the double slap, obviously Ultra Psycho is not that strong on defense, or defensively strong, and, well, let's go straight for a confusion. Wigglytuff defeated, and Ultra Psycho grows to level 22. Okay, alrighty, so that is done. And, well, let's see. Well, we could take on that guy, but let's see. Route 59, okay, alrighty. Never mind. Let's go ahead and take this guy, see what he has. That stupid guy won't let me get uh, uh, to the next city. What is his problem? Oh, crap baskets. I think I know what his problem is. It's just, uh, gravy. <laughs> I think I know what it is. And this is the Silco Warehouse. And what does this girl have to do? A little beer makes the guard go to sleep. You don't say. So, we got two things that we have to do right here, guys. There is a warehouse, and there is an entrance. I think I already know what to do. It's just I have to go back to the next town. So we're going to pause it right here. Stay tuned, guys, in the next episode. Uh, we'll see what happens, all right? See you guys.